John and Ken Show, John Cobelt and Ken Shampo. It's KFI AM 640. All right, well, we just talked to Andrew Mullen back with the uh, wonderful news out of Orange County that in just a five-month period, 414 illegal immigrant defenders were released from the Orange County Jail. And they did not notify ICE because under the sanctuary state policy, they can't. This And what do you know? 45 went out there and committed some nasty new crimes, including attempted murder, child abduction, assault with a deadly weapon. I think there was some child sex charge, too, or something like that. Isn't it? And, and this, is, this is Jerry Brown's fault, Kevin DeLeon's fault. Of course, they've, well, the got, entire no, they've got nothing that, to uh, say about this. That Josh uh, Newman, that too, Josh all of them Newman. voted for the sanctuary but, bill. I mean, there's two of them got arrested for attempted murder, one of them for child abduction with intent to commit a sex crime. Nice. You had five of them domestic violence. They Jerry Brown let them out of prison, blocked us from turning them over to ICE, and they go on to beat up their wife or girlfriend. There were there were five arrested for assault with a deadly weapon. What the now? This, this is this is this is Jerry Brown's California, and everyone's sitting by like this, sitting by like this is normal. Oh, that's okay. Well, that's an interesting news story. Holy moly. I mean, we've heck? been doing this show a long time. And I want to remind the audience again that we have had no better opportunity within a presidential administration than this one who actually takes immigration law seriously, just both legal and illegal immigration. All the things they're trying to do, the way the media covers it, too, gives you a good indication of where they are in this open border thing, because that's oh. what they are open border. Far left wing, ultra progressive. Trump and Jeff Sessions are just trying to say, well, I don't know. The immigration laws are on the books. We're just trying to enforce them here. And I was like, oh, everybody's up in arms. You can't do this. You can't do that. Why? You...? And then California responds with a sanctuary state bill. And like what that, the damage that that's doing. Now, so, so what does Jerry Brown say to, to the uh, women who were beat up by these uh, illegal immigrants? How about released? that child who got abducted with the intent of a sex crime? What? Yeah. What do you what tell do you... that child? How about the, the two. Uh... The two people who were almost killed. Attempted murders. What are the details of the attempted murders? Were they actually were they actually shot? Yeah, I didn't. Now, on the bright side, as I just said, we've got an administration that's working hard on the issue. Today, the announcement came out from Immigration and Customs Enforcement that a Mexican national convicted of rape and a citizen of El Salvador convicted of voluntary manslaughter are among 162 aliens taken into custody earlier this week during a three-day enforcement operation conducted by ICE targeting at-large criminal aliens, illegal re-entrants, and immigration fugitives. And this was in Southern California. Of those arrested, almost 90% had criminal convictions. So again, sometimes the media take on this is, oh, it's a roundup of all illegal aliens in Southern California. No, it's not. They're, 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 they've actually they're... got a reason to find these guys, and they're mostly guys. They're, they have criminal records. No, this El Segundo Times lies every day. Uh, here, here are some of the some of the specifics, and this is this is for verbatim from the this, this ICE, is press ICE's release. own press release. Right, a 32 year old Mexican national arrested in Maywood, June 10th, convicted of rape, was sentenced to eight years incarceration. This individual has been identified as a documented gang member of a group they call themselves Crazy Ass Mexican. Crazy with a K. Crazy with a K. No, wait a minute. And my, this... question, my question is, he, he spent eight years, right, convicted of rape. What happened upon his release? I guess ICE wasn't told. They had to go find him? I guess. No. Yeah. yeah. Here's a 47-year-old who was previously deported, El Salvadoran national, arrested in Winnetka June 12th. He was convicted of voluntary manslaughter and sentenced to seven years in prison. Ah, oh, look at the next sentence. Homeland Security databases indicate this individual was released by local authorities despite an ICE detainer. So they let out a guy who killed somebody. Yeah. And in the other case, they let out a rapist. A 50-year-old Mexican national was arrested in Santa Barbara on June 10th, who has a prior conviction for assault with intent to commit rape. He got two years confinement. This case has been accepted for federal prosecution under one of the codes... Indicate this interval was released despite an ICE detainer. Again, the same story. Listen to this guy. 33-year-old Venezuelan arrested in Santa Ana on June 11th. Prior convictions for assault on a police officer, battery of a spouse, violation of a court order to prevent domestic violence, 
battery, assault with a deadly weapon, possession of a controlled substance, wait, there's more, narcotics, alcohol and vehicle, receiving known stolen property, and a DUI drugs alcohol conviction causing bodily in- injury. What is that, 10? This, I mean, how many? It's quite a list. I mean, that's about 10 convictions. I, so what the ICE people are doing is they're looking in whatever they can do and however they can find this out, who has criminal convictions, and that, of course, is grounds for deportation, and they're going and finding them. Now, isn't that a good thing? 90% of these people that they rounded up in this three-day raid period have criminal records, and we've read I, some of the really nasty ones. The, Isn't it good that they're going to be sent home out of the country? These are the people that Jerry Brown and Kevin DeLeon have been protecting. Why would you protect guys who've raped women, who've killed people, who've assaulted police officers, who've beaten up their wives or girlfriends, who are driving around blasted on drugs and alcohol? Oh. Well, why, why, why would you want them out? But that's what Jerry Brown protects, and that's what Kevin. And this is what Gavin Newsom's going to protect. Yeah, I guess we ought to forget Jerry Brown. Focus. This is the. These are the kind of people Gavin Newsom wants to protect. The, the ones that they just rearrested in Orange County, in San Francisco. Gavin Newsom says you protect people who try to kill, who try to abduct children, and sexually abuse them. You protect them. If they're illegal immigrants. Yeah, well, yeah so now we, we got to revise. Francis- it's a reminder what San Francisco did, not when Gavin Newsom was mayor, but more recently, the killer of Kate Steinle. They purposely went and got him when the feds were ready to deport him when he was done serving his latest sentence for coming back into the country illegally. And they took him so they could release him into the streets of San Francisco. And then he picked up the gun and killed Kate Steinle. Yeah. So there you go. All right, we got more coming up, including... What we spent uh, the last part of the show on yesterday, this high-speed chase, quite a finish. We'll talk about it.